All right, so today I'm gonna be doing a fun little um, DIY experiment with these two vases that I have laying around the house. This one came from the dollar store, and this one I've had a long time and never really found a good spot for it. I think because the color's just a little off um, for my house. It just wasn't really fitting in anywhere. Um, so I'm gonna start by, so um, I'm gonna be doing two different methods of kind of giving these vases a transformation. I've seen it done a lot here um, recently. It's been very trendy to do this, um, to kind of make the vases like antique or um, make them look old, I guess. So I'm gonna use two different methods that I've seen and kind of compare the two methods. But first, um, the same thing on both, I'm going to start by cleaning them with just rubbing alcohol and um, some little cotton swabs. I'm just going to give each face a coat of um, primer and this will just kind of help the other spray paint adhere a little better. Um, so this is just flat white basic primer. Um, so I'm going to do a light coat on both. Alright, so I got one coat of um, white primer on them. Just did a little really light coat. Guys, so this is what I'm doing. I'm getting just like some sandy type loose dry dirt from our yard get like a little handful that's probably enough and I did another coat of spray paint on it I know the Sun is kind of harsh with the shadows so I did one more coat of spray paint on it and then as it was kind of like drying I would like toss this onto the wet paint <laughs> um, so here we go okay so this is what I'm doing very, you can see some like scratch marks here where the white primer is showing through. So I'm gonna try to cover that up. So wet paint and then just kind of toss the dirt at it. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. And if you accidentally like touch up here, I've got like a print. Um, and I've just been kind of going through. Um, some of this will get brushed off, like right here. Just a little more. And it's just getting that gritty texture. It's making it look dirty and a little more aged and um, unique. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Um, and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> okay, so you kind of saw my method there. Again, there's nothing really fancy about this. Anybody can do it. It's literally all I've used is spray paint, which probably you guys have on hand, and dirt, and then a random vase. And everybody has like a spare vase sitting around. All right, this is super messy, so I'm trying to do this with one hand and not get it all over my phone. Um, but this is honestly what I'm doing. I've got, I'm using my hand, and this is the all-purpose um, joint compound, and I'm like just rubbing it. Can you kind of see that there? Um, I'm just rubbing it all over the vase just to give it like texture. I don't know if this is gonna work or if I'm gonna need to do like something else on top of this, but I do know that um, we've done a lot of like skim coating over the years while we're renovating. So I do know that joint compound comes off with just water, um, just like warm water. So if I really hate this, I could wipe this all off. Um, and I'm not too worried about getting it on clothes and everything too. So just a little tip. I did one more coat of joint compound. Uh, I was looking back at some of the inspiration pictures and I noticed like all of the like texture on the vases was all going horizontal and I had put mine on vertically. I don't know if it really made much of a difference. Would make much of a difference, but I just, for safe measure, did another coat and just did it this way. I think it'll look a little more authentic um, if the texture kind of does show through once I get some paint on here. So now I gotta wait for this to dry again. Okay, so I'm back at working at this one. Um, this is how it turned out. Um, I let it dry overnight. This was just like a green ceramic vase. I did one coat of white spray primer that's what you can kind of see down there. And then I did two coats of joint compound and I just rubbed it on with my hands. So that's what gives it the texture. And then while that was drying, I just like lightly rubbed dirt all over it, just regular old dirt from the yard. 
to give it kind of that aged look. And now what I'm doing is I'm gonna paint over this with black paint. And I'm just using really cheap, like black acrylic craft paint. And then I'm gonna mix in some dirt into the paint so that it gives it some of that gritty texture. All right, so what I did is I just used this brush, um, just like a regular old angled paint brush, um, mixed a little bit of dirt and paint, put it on here and left like some areas exposed. I'm not 100% loving that. Um, so I think I'm gonna fill all these in, but right now I'm also taking some dirt just like with my hand and rubbing it on the wet paint, um, kind of like I did on the other one that I spray painted just because it gives it more of that like aged look. It almost looks like rusted or just like dirty. Um, and that's what it is because we're using dirt. <laughs> um, but Cal's in here <laughs> helping me. I let him paint on the table. Okay, so I filled in most of the spots with lots of more paint. Let me see this real quick, Cal. Huh? Um, I left a, just a couple very little pieces. Um, okay, then I went and got more dirt. So what I'm doing on the wet part of the paint is just kind of rubbing it in. Cal's helping here. And we're just making it look dirty. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to this, but I really like the texture um, and how it's looking with the dirt on it. I think I like it better than the other one I did um, that didn't have texture, because this one just looks a little more, I don't know, interesting. So we're just gonna continue. Oh goodness, you made a mess. <laughs> so we're just gonna continue doing this. Um, when I get a look that I'm happy with, I may sand some of this off. Um, but what, stop, please. When I get a look I'm happy with, um, I will do some clear um, spray on top of it with just like a matte finish so that it holds all this stuff in place and it doesn't come off. So. 